Well, I'm Stan Rue. I'm a professor in the School of Biological Sciences, and I, I teach plant physiology, uh, discovery lab in plant biology, and a signature course called Hidden Treasures of Plants. So my interest is in plants, and that's my research interest as well, which is how do plants convert environmental signals into adaptive responses. Plants were around several hundred million years before mammals were, for example. And so this whole process of signal transduction, the strategies that work, how, what, what do you need to amplify a signal, all those were invented by plants, I think. And, and so it's not surprising that the basic early signaling changes, like uh, changes in calcium, for example, or rapid membrane potential changes, all of these changes were happening in plants several hundred million years before animals even came on the scene. And in the case of gravity, we're looking at the earliest responses that occur in the first few seconds when a plant cell senses gravity. And I am pretty convinced, based on the evidence that we have, that if we substitute in our experimental system a muscle cell or a bone cell in place of this plant cell, we'll see the same responses. And then NASA really pays attention because they want to know what happens to humans when they go into microgravity? What's going to happen to their muscle development, their bone development, and why? You know, what, what, what are the signaling steps that convert this lack of gravity into a lack of muscle, a lack of bone, which we know happens? It's a big problem for astronauts. If they stay in space for six or seven months, they lose a lot of muscle and they lose a lot of bone. So suppose you're going to Mars for a couple of years. Will you be able to come back and walk on Earth? Maybe not. I started off in college as a major in classics and, and, and uh, philosophy, classical languages and philosophy. Um, and while I was in college, early stages, I was growing these tomato plants for a bunch of my friends. And I had these huge tomato plants. And this was in Lafayette, Louisiana, where it rains a lot in rich soil. I had plants that were 12 feet tall, and I was harvesting them in December, you know, starting in June. I got over 100 pounds of tomatoes from, from my plants. And, and it just fascinated me. How do you go from this seed to this giant plant that has these beautiful fruit? It's delicious. I think, how does that happen? And it, it just, I really wanted to know the answer. How does this happen? The only way you can get an answer is to study it. You know, go and take developmental biology courses. And, and that's what I did. I mean, it was. So, so my answer to your question is historical. This is why I got interested. You know, for a different person, it would be a different answer.